to college football now. And the biggest reason that the playoff is going to expand, in my opinion, beyond the obvious of more money, is that if it just continues to be some combination of Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State, Georgia, Oklahoma, and Notre Dame every year, then people outside of those programs are going to get, are going to get bored in a hurry. You need more representation. You need more teams. You need more people. UCF fans are out there right now screaming, hey, we'd be happy to be the new blood. They're ranked preseason 17. They've elevated their status to the point that they're landing Notre Dame transfers. Brandon Wimbush could be the starter at quarterback. Mackenzie Milton going to be on the sidelines all season long after the injury in November that very nearly cost him his leg. Joined now by UCF quarterback Mackenzie Milton, and it's good to cross paths again with you, sir. I'm going to start with a question that I imagine you're sick of answering, but I mean sincerely when I ask simply, how are you? You know, I'm doing well, Scott. It's been, uh, it's been a crazy um, past about eight months or so, but, you know, I've definitely grown a lot, and it's been fun um, embracing the new role at the start of training camp, and, you know, I'm just ex excited to see what our, our team is going to do this year. What is the game plan for you to get back out on the field? As I mentioned, this year, obviously not. But, but in your, in your best-case scenario, Mackenzie, what does the path back look like? You know, I'm aiming for 2020 to, you know, step on the football field again. But at this point, you know, there's no set timetable. I'm just uh, taking it day by day. Uh, I've made significant strides, but, you know, I still need to strengthen up my leg. You know, there's... There's a lot of there's a lot of room to grow, so but I'm further along than you know any doctor would expect, any medical trainer would expect. And you know, I feel like that's by the grace of God. And you know, I've had a lot of prayers and a lot of good people taking care of me. And you know, I, I want to thank the UCF medical staff for putting me in the hands of the best doctors really in the country, um, taking care of my knee. I read the stories about this, and there's there's some recovery that you can kind of chart. Right. But then waiting for nerves to kind of wake back up. You just don't know. What's it like to wait right. and wonder and just not know when or even maybe if to some degree it all comes back the way it once was? You know, like I said, I, I've been in the hands of, you know, some of the best doctors in the world. Went up to the Mayo Clinic to have my reconstruction done. It's been amazing. You know, the nerve is basically back to 100 percent. So fantastic. Really, it's now about just strengthening, strengthening up my leg and. Uh, you know, a lot of people with this injury, they, they never get their nerve back. So I'm definitely grateful. Like, like I said, you know, I had some great doctors and I was a lucky one that, you know, the nerve's coming back so fast. You have been such a monstrous part of a complete program change for, for UCF football. No matter whatever happens from this point forward, how much satisfaction as you sit there right now talking to me, understanding there's still chapters to write, but right now, how much satisfaction can you allow yourself in knowing the role you have played and the fingerprint you have put on this program? You know, my, my old QB coach, Mario Verdusco, who's now at Nebraska, told me as a quarterback, you're just one cog in the wheel of success. So, you know, I'm just grateful to be a part of this team that's went on such a special run. And, you know, I really feel like we're just scratching the surface here at UCF. Uh, whether I'm playing or not, I feel like the sky's the limit here. And I'm grateful to, to be a part of, you know, the – the, the rising of Night Nation. Well, bring that passion, that energy daily. I know you will until you get back out on the field. Know that we're thinking about you and a lot of folks around the country. I'm sure you felt that and will continue to. A lot of folks keeping a good thought for you, McKenzie. Keep doing your thing, man, and I hope we talk again soon, okay? Thank you, Scott. You're the man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.